This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in the city of Richmond. More specifically, I am in Northside. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a three bedroom, two full bath home. This home is newly renovated. We are situated on a nice quiet side street. Uh, there's not much activity here on this street at all. And our subject property is located on a double lot. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of space on the right side of the house and uh, on the left side of the house uh, as you're coming out the door we have wooded space so we've got a great location here uh, the dumpster is going to go away and uh, they are just finishing up some last minute touches you guys know i'm a big fan of getting out to these homes as soon as they hit the market so you can see exactly what we have to offer here in the metro richmond area special thanks to my buddy Stephanie Johnson, who was kind enough to allow us to come in, take a look at her beautiful listing. Earlier today, I was on the internet and uh, came across a clip. I've seen it before. And the clip basically has uh, an individual that comes into a room and there are about eight others of the opposite gender that are standing there with balloons. And the concept is that the uh, person coming in, in this case it was a gentleman uh, they come in and introduce themselves tell a little bit about them and if the individuals in the room uh, eight women in this case are not interested they immediately pop their balloon uh, when this gentleman came in and introduced himself it sounded like machine gun fire uh, almost all of the women popped their balloons and were clearly not interested uh, after the seventh lady popped her balloon they go and they ask the women why did they pop the balloon and subsequently one said hey i didn't like his fit uh fit for those of you over 35 is short for outfit another one said i just wasn't feeling his drip uh, for those of you once again drip is also a slang term for wardrobe outfit or garments and another said i didn't like his shoes uh, a fourth said, hey, I do hair and his hair really needs to be touched up. Um, and I'm saying all this to, to share with you that even though this gentleman said that he just finished law school and uh, most women would consider him an attractive guy, he didn't make the grade. And he ended up not even getting one woman that was interested in him. And you may say, well, Max, what does that have to do with real estate? And I will share exactly what i mean a lot of times people will go off of first impressions and they'll say oh this house is this or this house is that for example when you saw this house from the street you probably just assumed oh this house probably has small bedrooms and a tiny closet and therefore i'm not interested or you may have said oh that house is in north richmond it's not going to be worth what they're asking and those are assumptions in many cases people are wrong with those assumptions I'll give you another example. In the past couple weeks, I put homes on the market that were not on the market, but on video that were actually towards the top end of the price range for that area for the square footage. And people would come on and say in the comment section, oh, that house is overpriced. Subsequently, several of those homes are actually gone under contract very quickly after I did the video. So I say that to say that don't be so quick to judge because a lot of this is based on the market and unless you have done market research you just simply don't know the gentleman that was on the tv show he may make a wonderful boyfriend or spouse but because the women couldn't get past his pants and shirt and shoes or his hair they will never know so word to the wise do a little bit of research before you just jump in and assume all right, I guarantee you, you will not see another video today that talks about dating advice or dating psychology and how it relates to real estate. All right, let's go on in and take a look at this interesting home. You can see here on the exterior, we have stucco replacement windows. Our systems are new. I'm gonna show you uh, some of our heating and air system here and an uh, interesting view that we typically don't get in most homes. Okay, as we come in, they have staged this area as a dining area. You could, of course, do that, or you could make this a more formal space, or you could even turn it into a home office with an area here where you can actually sit and look out over the street. So a lot of flexibility here. Love what they did here with the ceiling. We don't often see 
uh, black ceilings, but they did it here. I think it works very nicely. One of the things that caught my attention were these gorgeous wood floors that are loaded with character. They are newly refinished. In fact, you can still smell the polyurethane that they use on them. So this is a brand new rehab. This, of course, is our family room. We are open here to our Eden kitchen, and they did a great job designing that kitchen. We're going to take a look at it in a moment. So we've got a nice open floor plan, but still have nice distinct areas. Okay, as we move into the kitchen, uh, directly in the middle of the frame is where you would put your dinette. And we've got nice recessed lights. It is nice and bright in here. A lot of windows here in this space. We've got two windows, in fact, right over that nice deep stainless sink. Your electric range would go right there and your refrigerator would go right there. We do see a line here. That's gonna be for your ice maker. So you just simply hook that water line up and you've got ice with your automatic ice maker. All right, I'm gonna give you another shot here from the corner. Beautifully staged as well. All right, we're gonna go across the hall. Uh, straight ahead, of course, is our front door. This is gonna be bedroom number one. Uh, you could get uh, probably a queen size uh, bed in here with no problem. A double window there and a ceiling fan. Our closet, of course, in the corner. And this is actually a walk-in closet. This is approximately four feet or so deep. So you've got an interesting configuration there. All right, we are now going to go back to the hallway and to the right. This is going to be bedroom number two. And it is approximately the same size as the first. This floor plan is going to be ideal if you have multi-generational family uh, or arrangement where uh, having a separate primary um, is going to be useful. Our hall bath is directly ahead. Now, I love the fact that we've got a really nice size bathroom. This is not a cramped bathroom by any space, by any means. Uh, we've got a tub shower enclosure you can see we've got the granite like tile that goes all the way to the ceiling everything is nice and clean refinished here to my right really nice size linen closet you can never have too much storage when it comes to bathrooms and i just really like uh, what they did here and then here to the right you can see we also have uh, plenty of space as well Okay, I'm gonna take you up to our unfinished attic. I wanna point out a couple things up here for you. This is space where if you wanted to store a few items, you could do so. We need a couple of boards replaced up here to make it completely accessible, but that is not a big deal. Up here, you can see we've got this brand new uh, duct system. And so the duct, system hits every room in the house and uh, it is obviously brand new that is going to be a heat pump there in the distance i can tell it's a heat pump because i don't see any flues and i don't see any gas lines so we heat with electric and we also have in the distance it's probably tough for you to see but we have an exhaust fan exhaust fan is nice because you turn it on or if it's automatic it will come on automatically and take hot air out of the attic space and that makes the home much more efficient if you were trying to cool your home. Okay, we are now going down these steps. This is going to be our, mass, our primary suite area. And so first, I'm gonna show you what we have here. This is a nice big rectangular room. This would actually work beautifully if you wanted to do a sitting area here. You could uh, actually put a large television uh, you could treat it as a second family room and then here below I'm gonna step around they actually have a can here because they're letting something dry navigate around it this is going to be our laundry room and they're still doing a few things here got a couple of lights to hook up we have electric water heater your laundry is right there and this is just plenty of storage uh, so I love when we have 
a space like this. It's not damp and nasty. It's nice and clean. And you could uh, go ahead, put a folding table, additional storage down in this useful space. Okay, we're coming back up into that uh, the family room that I mentioned, we do have a door there. So you could actually access this from the exterior and come on in. If grandma needed this space, she could uh, come in that side door after a hard night of partying and not interrupt the rest of the family. Okay, we are now in the primary suite. Look at this. We've got a queen size bed that's in place and look at all the space on either side. I'm gonna give you a shot here from the corner so you can see how big this space actually is. I've been in homes that were easily twice this size and uh, they don't have primary bedrooms this big. You just have so much flexibility here in this massive suite. All right, now I'm gonna take you into our primary bath. And here we are directly ahead. We have a nice oversized walk-in shower. Got that tile all the way to the ceiling new tile on the floor. This is gonna be LVP material here uh, throughout uh, a lot of this addition. This is actually an addition of when we actually step down. And then of course, look at our walk-in closet. This is huge. We've got uh, probably about 10 feet across. If you wanted to use these additional sidewalls for storage, you could of course do so. And um, we just have an amazing amount of space here in this primary closet. Wow, you would have never known from the street what you have in this house. So I'm a big proponent of not judging any and everything from the cover or from the street. And uh, ladies, when you're looking at men, you know, give them a little slack. He, uh, you just never know what's on the inside if you're only looking at the uh, pants and shirt. If you have questions about this or any other home on the market, my name is Max Williams. Be sure to give me a call. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.